Okay, so we want the amount of power supplied by the independent voltage source. So independent voltage source, that's this one, by applying the mesh analysis method. So for the mesh analysis method, it's a lot like KVL, but it's not identical because uh, branches that are shared by two meshes will have the current going through them will actually be a combination of our two mesh currents. So um, I'll draw uh, currents in each mesh. I'll call that one I1 and I'll call that, that one I2. And I want to make sure that, actually, I, I usually draw them going in the other direction. Uh, whatever direction you draw them, make sure that you do them both in the same orientation. So I'm doing them both clockwise, apparently. So that's I1 and that's I2. So um, the way you write your mesh equations is um, you, if you go into a voltage source, if you go into the negative side, you write that as negative. If you go into the positive side, you write it as positive. For going across a resistor, that voltage will be your uh, mesh current times the resistance. Um, or if you're at a branch that's being shared by two, it'll be resistance of your current, uh, so the resistance times your current minus the other current. Okay, so, and then the, the sum of all those voltage drops has to be zero. So, so for this first branch for I1, that would be minus 12, because I'm coming into the minus side here, and then plus 2I1, and then plus, going down this middle branch, I see that I have a 4 ohm resistor, but uh, my current is going to be I1 minus I2, and that equals 0. And now, um, going around the other branch, I will have plus 2Vx, and then plus the, uh, this middle uh, branch right here, it will be plus 4 ohms I2 minus I1, and that has to equal 0. Okay, now I have two equations, but I have three unknowns. I have Vx right here, but look at how Vx is defined. Vx is defined as the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor, and the current across that 2 ohm resistor is I1. So Vx equals 2I1. So I can actually replace this, this Vx in the second equation with 2I1. So I'm just substituting 2I1 in for Vx. So this is the, the second equation right here. I'll go ahead and simplify it while I'm here. Plus 4I2 minus 4I1 equals 0. Um, and that gives me... So that's, is that, is that right? 4I1 minus, do I get that I2 is actually 0? Um, well, it certainly can be. Let's see. Does anyone see a mistake that I made? I don't think so. Is it on the minus 2Vx? Two two because you're going, oh, I might be wrong. I might. Yeah, no, it's it's not because but no, that's a good question. But the reason why I have I believe I have the right sign is I one is going in this direction, so it's going from the plus to the to the minus. Um, and in this equation here, it should be plus two v x because I'm coming into the plus side of it. So I think I do have the signs right. Uh, let me just check and see. Um, it just it it. It bothers me that it's saying the current is zero, but the current certainly can be zero. So let me just see, see if that matches what I have. I'm going to stop my screen sharing for just a moment while I check my super secret solutions.
What number was this? 3.55. Thank you. Yep, it's zero. Oh, but <laughs> I I uh, I stopped I I sh I stopped sharing uh, on Zoom, but of course I'm continuing to record, so it will be in the video because I am much too lazy to go in and edit it out. So everybody gets to see my super secret file structure. Um, all right. Okay, so this gets us that I2 equals zero. So, um, and I2 can be zero, and, and there it is. Okay, and then um, to find I1, I can plug into my other equation right here. So, minus 12 plus 2I1 plus 4I1 equals zero or 6I1 equals 12, or I1 equals 2 amps. All right, so now if I want to get the power supplied by the independent voltage source, I'll look at my voltage source, and I'll see that I1 is going in this direction. So I1 entering into the negative side, which is what we would expect because it's supplying power. So P equals IV and um, I is 2 amps. Our voltage is negative 12 volts, so that's uh, minus 24 volts. But like I said earlier, you don't say that minus 24 volts are supplied, you just say that 24 volts are supplied. And that would be the answer. Okay, questions on that one?